this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. Oh, what a day. <laughs> uh, phoned up a man to come and look at the boiler, because the one I phoned up at the beginning of last week still hasn't turned up, so he's had his chance. And um, basically I spoke to a guy about quarter past eight, and he was round here by half past nine. He's looked at the boiler and done a, done a sort of test, which involves banging a pipe really hard. <laughs> Which I thought was comical because you know they always say if it don't work hit it with a hammer but in fact this actually worked and proved that the part in question was faulty because basically as I said the um, hot water part of the the boiler function is working fine so the boiler itself works and obviously the controller sort of works as well but the the boiler has to send water either to the central heating system or the hot water system or both and that involves a regulator valve which is like a t-piece so that it can say right water's going to one the other or both and that's the bit he hit with the hammer which is quite amusing because the boiler was on at the time with the hot water side of the system which works fine and after he'd given it a couple of clonks with the hammer he had a, a, some sort of device that he said, he said, right, that is the problem because there is now a tiny little amount of water getting through to the central heating system. So you should feel a little bit of heat on the radiators, but they're not going to get properly hot because the flow is too restricted. So uh, anyway, we've sorted out what the problem is. He's given me a price for it and he'll be round on Tuesday morning at eight o'clock to do it. That's not a good day for me to have a plumber around that day's um well it doesn't matter why but <laughs> you know that particular date is normally put aside for doing other things uh, anyway um so that got that out of the way which left me free to go downtown which i don't like doing but there is a place where you can normally park for free because i refuse to pay to park in my own town i'm not doing it so it means walking a bit but so be it nothing else to do have i so I got that banking done that I, that I messed up last time by forgetting the paying in book. So, so the Orchid Society's money is now banked from the show and everything. So that's out of, my, out of my hair for a bit. I also got some spare keys cut for the house. So just drop the key in and come back 20 minutes later and have two shiny new ones as well as the one you already had. So I got that done. And I had to take some paperwork, identification and letters of authority into the solicitors to get my mum's original will. And I came, that the solicitors were the last thing on the list. Um, came out of the solicitors, got to cross over a, a, a major main road sort of thing and take your life in your hands with the flipping traffic. And there was nothing coming, so I started to amble across the road and a car came flying round the bend, so I put a sprint on. And now I've ripped something in the back of my leg and I'm limping. So cheers for that, mate. Glad you were in a hurry. Now I can't be in a hurry whether I wanted to or not. So something's pulled up the back of my leg behind the knee joint. Um, it's painful and it it's, involves limping. Now I can't walk properly because I can't, I can't straighten my leg with my weight on it. If I haven't got my weight on it, I can. Uh, it's one of those things I'm going to walk it off. But um, I've done all the walking I'm going to do today. Reason for the video, we have a new bloom. And we, what we've got is a bloom that we've been waiting for for about six months. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've hung it up so that we can get underneath it and have a look and hopefully get a close up. Dracula Bella has finally opened a bloom. Oh, and now it's raining. Well, it's a good job it didn't do that while I was downtown. Or I would have been cross. So there we are, we have a, a, this is my only Dracula. I don't plan on getting any more. They're never gonna do brilliantly in my environments, a bit too warm for them through the summer months. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm pleased. I mean, this is one of the larger Dracula blooms. Um, gorgeous patterning on it. You're not gonna see it in its best, at its best, simply because there's, you know, it's raining. There's no light in here today and um, I'm pointing the camera effectively at a bright background, but hopefully it's in focus. And um, that bud sat there doing nothing for an incredibly long time, and then it suddenly started to swell up and has now bloomed, um, which is good stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, if I can get this thing to focus on the stem, 
It looks like it might have another bud coming. Possibly that will push on when this one falls off. I, I forget how long they last, I haven't got a clue. But it should last a good amount, as good an amount of time as it can do on the grounds we've lost the heat now and we've got unsettled weather and by the weekend it's turning cold apparently when Hannah's down here and we've got no heating, that'd be good. <laughs> anyway, we've got another spike coming up here which should now push on. As I said, we've got the cooler temperatures so this plant is now an awful lot happier than it has been. So uh, there we go, Dracula Bella, finally. <laughs> Uh, it's a strange one that. Uh, some people seem to get loads of blooms on theirs and others never get any, you know, so I'm somewhere in between. I get a bud. Well, last year we had dozens of buds and they all blasted. I think we only had one bloom last year and that was right at the beginning, possibly. I can't remember. Anyway, we have a bloom now. And now I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to sit down with my foot up to stretch my leg. I don't want to keep my leg bent at the moment. I've got this horrible feeling if I keep it bent, it's going to seize up. <laughs> so if I keep it stretched out, at least I know it can stretch out. And while we were doing buds and spikes, guess what we missed? We missed Lelia anseps. Now, this has always had two spikes. It has two new growths, it's got two leads and it has two spikes. But it's had a setback. And so we're only going to get one this year, which is a right pain. And then there is actually another Cattleya with buds, but oh, it's right up there. It's basically the only Cattleya I've got that's red. And you can see the sheath behind that cane there. And it looks like the buds are just starting. The end of my finger there. That's a really good view for you, isn't it? You know. Oh, cheers, we can see that really clear. <laughs> Not. Anyway, that, ow, that's all we're doing today. I'm now going to stick my leg up, uh, stretched out, and see if it'll sort of uh, <laughs> sort itself out. I mean, I've pulled something, basically, so it's a stretch. It can't be that bad, or I wouldn't be walking on it, and it wouldn't bend, or it would bend once, and it would never straighten out again. So it's not serious, but it's painful. Uh, we did, a, we talked about it as we hobbled up onto the onto the pavement, or. Sidewalk, as some people call it, because <laughs> pavement's too complicated, apparently. So you need to say it's on the side of the road and it's where you walk, so it's a sidewalk, so I'm told. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks for dropping by. One other thing I forgot to say. You can do a sort of yes or no, or not bother answering at all, but do you think my normal introduction, you know, with the music and the words and, you know, Roger's Orchids and the title of the video and everything. Do you think that's too long? Because it's been there for quite a while now and every now and again I like to change my intro. Sometimes I just change the music. Um, last time I changed the music some people didn't like the change and some people went at flipping last, we didn't like the previous music. So you can't please everybody, I know that, but do you think it's a bit long? Because basically I made the introduction to fit the music. In other words, the music came first. And I didn't want to fade it out until it had had like a, a reasonable shot, if you know what I mean. So although this is a short video, I'm actually going to put that introduction on the front, which is a bit over the top because the introduction relative to the length of the video is now going to be even longer relative. But say what you think. Um, as I said, I, it, it, I haven't changed it for some considerable time. I won't be getting rid of the black and the orange basics because that is like a, it's like my trademark so that my videos stand out you know in amongst other videos you see that bright orange and black and you think oh there's one of Rogers so um, that, that color will be still there but some other things could change it could be shorter I could change the music I'm quite happy to have a play with it now and again otherwise it gets a bit samey doesn't it so uh, anyway say what you think see you next time <laughs>